a few examples, things you'd never think to do. Um, <laughs> one of the examples she uses with these vacuum sealing of jars, these are orange dried orange slices, by the way, really good at tea. Um, she puts um, chocolate chips in vacuum sealed jars, and she shows you these chocolate chips that are three years old. She pops the lid, puts them in her mouth. <laughs> Delicious. And she also shows you a jar that lost its seal. Um, it's also three years old of chocolate chips, and they're unrecognizable. So that's pretty amazing to me. Um, how much more life, or storage life anyway, you get just from vacuum sealing. Um, and I also like this vacuum sealer for that because I don't have to buy oxygen absorbers. This sucks all the air out, and that's a lifesaver as far as cost-wise. And you can re reuse your lids no matter how many times. You so go and watch that series, and you're probably going to decide you need a vacuum sealer. And these aren't ex really expensive at all. You can pick them up in any, um, we have Myers Thrifty Acres up here, um, but Walmart, of course, Target sells them. And you can also buy the bags there. And those, I would suggest getting the rolls instead of the pre-cut bags because then you can make your own size bags for whatever you're vacuum sealing. And these also work awesome for freezers. Um, as far as meat, I put some of my beans in the freezer, vacuum sealed. So check that out. This is something I just would not be without. Okay, YouTube, let me just um, give you an example of how you might want to use your vacuum sealer with the jar attachments. Um, if you buy these soup mixes, these, I love these things, you just add some ham to it, or you don't have to add ham to it, but if you buy these um, and you look in the store at the expiration date, and you can't see it and I can't zoom in, but it's 10-11, so two years from now, just in this little baggie. So if I took this and put it in a jar, a canning jar, like this, and that's the little seasoning packet in there on top, I bet I could get this to uh, store probably for maybe five years. I mean, if this flimsy little plastic bag is going to keep it, quote unquote, fresh for two years, a vacuum sealed jar, is going to keep it a lot longer. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's so easy. Now I'm going, what I do, what I've already done, is after I put something like this in the jar, I take the bag and I just cut out the instructions how to cook it and I write the date. Ah, I write like 10-11. That's the date that it supposedly would expire in the bag. And I write that on here just for my own reference and I tape it right onto my jar. So, but look at how easy it is to vacuum seal in a canning jar. Okay, let me go get a canning jar. I'm going to stop it a minute and I'll come back. Okay. I've got my soup in here, my flavor packet on top, and I'm going to just take a plain old lid, new lid, put it on top. By the way, if you're buying new canning jars, you probably know this already, but um, make sure you rinse them out with hot soapy water before you, and dry them real well before you use them. And if you don't believe me, just take a whiff in, inside a brand new canning jar. Um, they're kind of stinky. <laughs> so just do that anyway, and make sure they're really dry before you go to put any dried items inside. So you're going to put, you, just, you don't have to heat it up or anything. Just put it on top. I have to do this one-handed. Grab your appropriately sized jar sealer. And this is the wide mouth jar sealer. Oh, I'm going to switch hands. Um, Lock down your vacuum sealer and press the button. Did you hear the pink at the end? Okay, I'm going to have to use two hands, I think, to get this off. <laughs> maybe. All right, maybe I can set this over here. Oh yeah, that'll work. Cool. I've been canning berries, don't look at my hands. Okay, there it is. Wonderful. Oh great, now I just buried my packet. <laughs> and I always put the ring back on just in case this should come loose in storage and it, it probably won't, but I just put it on there just in case. And there you go, your vacuum sealed dry goods.
Now let's just pretend I have something in here that's not a one-time use like this um, soup mix. Say I have barley that I'm going to add to some soup or rice and I'm just going to use part of this. What you're going to do is pop the vacuum seal. You're going to pop this lid off and the cool thing is you, as I said before, you can reseal it with the exact same lid and I'll show you that in a minute. Get my proper thing over here so you can see. Well, at least I hope you can see. So I'm just going to use scissors. Oh, is that on oh, there? Good. <laughs> okay, don't try this at home. <laughs> Alright, so you can see how good that seal was. Now I'm going to put the exact same lid back on. I'm going to let it go so you know I'm not trying to fool you. over and over and over again. And you don't need your oxygen absorber because the vacuum has sucked it all out. You have a good seal. You're good to go.